All right, so I just got a call and a message from Sister Kim. And Lester, of course, is at work because that's how, like, Murphy's Law is here. Hey, I just got out of the bath, so I can't get dressed fast enough, but there are two horses running up and down Mom and Dad's driveway. Do you want to try to catch them before they get to the road? So, I got my lead ropes, and I'm on my way. Okay, they're back here in the corner. I wonder if I should go left or right. <sighs> These things happen when no one else is home. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And Kim can't come out and help because she had a COVID exposure, so she is quarantined and I don't want to hang out with Sister Kim at all. <laughs> These dogs are about the same size as horses. Here they go. Hey! Hey, birdies! Man, oh man! I'm gonna go get on the side-by-side -side and see if they'll come to me with some food. All right, the good news is, Lester with me. Some greens are ready poured. Get a little of that. I'll bring my ropes. Probably what I should do in the first place. Okay, let's go see what they're up to now. So, the fact they have halters on tells me that they got out together. They're still down here. I see them down the road. I see tail swishing. I'm going to stop long before I get to them and try to coax them to come to me. I'm probably going to be heavy breathing before long. Come here, baby! I don't know how Lester makes so many videos with one hand. He does all these things. Really? They know what a food bucket is. Okay. Hi, babies. Oh, you got a bloody nose. Hello, pretties. Okay, so you're hungry horses. And their feet are done pretty well. Hi, baby. Can I touch you? Okay. Oh, baby. You got a pretty good wound. Hi, pig, Trudy. All right. You are a... This is important that we check this before I put them in any pasture. I think you're a girl. Yes, she just shook her head at me. Are you a mare too? But I'm gonna be real careful about how I hold this rope in case they wanna run. And I'm gonna try to get behind them and head them up to our barn. And I will block off one of the pastures just to put them in until I can make a post and find their owners, hopefully. I don't think so. I think I'll be okay. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess it's more normal to walk your horse home than it is to walk your cow home. I used to have to do this with CJ quite often. This one is fighting for food. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Let's be sweet. Come on. Let's go. I know you're both hungry. I'll feed you both. Come on. Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's go. My gosh. I'm not so concerned about Dixie. She's female. And she's already talking to her. So if they're in this part together, it's probably okay. At least to say hello. Oh my gosh, horses are just amazing animals. I'm out of breath, y'all. It scared me. It scared me to see how fast that they ran away. And the thought of the other one's hurt, I do need to treat her wound. Well, so much for locking Dixie in the barn. I'm out here rambling like Lester. <sighs> Dixie, be sweet. I know you're bigger. This is your <clears throat> house. Oh boy, that scared me. I may go let them out. Or maybe I even pull Dixie out. <laughs> I gotta think about this. What's gonna be the smartest move here? I think some more food. I think they're gonna fight over the food. So let's start with that. You know, Lester's never gonna believe me when I tell him what has happened and I'm so thankful that I made this video. <laughs> 
because he wouldn't believe half the things that happened to me as soon as he leaves some days. But most of the time, while I'm waiting for him to get home, you sure are pretty. Dixie thinks so too. It's kind of tiny though. Definitely a smaller horse. Hi, baby. I may love you. I fed you, I get to love you. That's how the rules go at this place. Well, what a surprise I come home to. Um, I can't leave them here, for even for now. You know, um, you're not supposed to, whenever you bring in a new animal, you have to quarantine that animal away from the others for a while. We will contact Liberty County. That's our Sheriff's Department, our local Sheriff's Department, and they will uh, probably send somebody out to pick them up in a couple of days. And I think in the meantime, the best place to put them is going to be with Tex in his smaller pasture. We'll have to pour the feed to him uh, because there's not enough grass out here for anything. But I don't want them to, c to contaminate our horses. And, you know, we do let horses and stuff roam here in the front. You gonna grab them? Yeah. And, uh, and I also don't want to deny access to our barn to all of our babies who have access to our barn and who are used to being over here. Let me help you. So the reason we're gonna put them in the pasture with Tex is because, um, uh-oh, which one's the more gentle of the two? Yeah. I think she's mad, or he's mad because I cleaned his wound. So I can't tell if this is just a pony or a colt, a young, a young horse. Either way, they're both small build horses. Yeah. But I think this might be kind of a, and I'm not a horse person. But anyway, so what I was saying is we can't leave them here with the, where the other horses live because they can cross contaminate things if they have any parasites and we don't know what they'll do to the little so we can't let the littles back in we don't want them to stomp or trample our littles obviously so we'll put them with tax <laughs> until they come pick them up we can load them easier out of this oh, he's got like a wound underneath his thing where the halters wore into him yeah yeah that's sad uh, we'll bring him over here and we'll pull the halter off before you let him go. How are we going to... It's so tight. It's a her. No, I'll, I'll take the halter off. That is sad. We can catch them easier out of this pasture here. Tex, you're going to have a couple of friends for a few days. Um, and folks, it, I think it's a lot more difficult for any kind of cross-contamination to happen between uh, cows and horses. And I know for a fact they're not going to stomp Tex to death. Do it. All right. Come on, little one. Can you follow? This one here is like, whoa. He has a thing on his nose, a pretty bad scrape. Yeah, I've treated it. We'll bring some more hay over too. It's sad, look, he has chains on him. Yeah, you gotta take and that off. Rope and everything. I'm sorry, baby, I know that hurts. They're cute. Oh, man. You need help? I think so, it's like got concrete in it. I'm wondering what's, that's what's on him. That's sad. Well, it's cute because it's like they came to the right place, obviously. <laughs> but uh, animals just can't show up here and stay. We don't. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Ponies are mean, baby. Those little ponies, those little small horses. It's not a miniature horse. It's just a little pony, like a little Shetland, I believe. I'm not positive. Someone will tell us. But uh, they can be really mean. <laughs> Look at this thing. They're cute. But yeah. So soft. His winter coat. You know, they're like a chihuahua in the dog world. Yes. More injuries are caused. I promise you. <laughs> well, actually, this is a fact. There are more dog bites every year from chihuahuas than there are pit bulls. You know this, right? I know. And I guarantee you in the horse world, there are more uh, injuries from probably Shetland ponies than there are from the big voodoo types and the big buckies and the big dixies. So, all right, well, uh, they're fine for now. We will contact Liberty County and let them know.